Hi, morning folks, it's um, Tuesday the, is it the 8th today? No, it's Tuesday the 9th of July, 2019. Okay, um, the link uh, at the top there will be in the description as usual. Okay, just an update on the um, case uh, surrounding the death of Robin Fryer. That's the girl that was knocked down in uh, Paisley, uh, in Glenburn Road. It says here, two men charged with causing death of teenage girl by dangerous driving in Paisley. Sean Gatti and David Kinnan have appeared in court after Robin Fryer was fatally injured when she was hit by a car in Glenburn Road. And that's her there. Two, two men appeared in court today charged with causing the death of 15-year-old Robin Fryer. Robin died in the early hours of Sunday when she was hit by a car in Paisley. Uh, onlookers and paramedics battled to save the schoolgirl following a collision at Glenburn Road around 2am and she was pronounced dead at Queen Elizabeth a short time later. And she said, a lovely, lovely lassie. Um, Sean Gatti and David Kinnan both appeared in private at Paisley Sheriff Court where they were charged with causing death by dangerous driving. Gatti was also charged with a further two traffic offences and with attempts to, to pervert the course of justice. Neither man entered a plea and both were granted bail. Robin was understood to be crossing the road near Ferenc Drive when she was hit. Scores of tributes have been paid to the schoolgirl. And that's the scene in the accident there. Two absolute arseholes. Hundreds of people yesterday backed a petition calling for a speed camera to be installed on the road. And you can I can assure you one will be installed there. It's too late to save Robin, but this is where installing a speed camera could save the next person's life. Uh, and it's not the only place there should be speed cameras, because uh, some of these characters flying about in these motors. I mean, it used to be the case where um, everybody, the guys that were running about in these hatchbacks had stolen them. But what's happening now is they're legally getting them. You know, they're owning them and they're just flying about. I mean, many, many times in the past was it a situation when cars were easier to steal before the immobiliser scenario where you, the band pots would steal the motors and they'd be getting chased up and down the road by police. It was a joyride. Now you've got drivers that have passed their test acting like joyriders, racing on the streets. And the only time you see these cop cars is when somebody's hurted or there's a crash. That traffic motor... See that traffic car sitting there when my mouse is over? That would normally be sitting at the side of the road. And the two cops in it, just sitting there waiting for their camera to say, D2, D2, uh, that motor's the insurance. And so the database that it's linked up to in the DVLA will clock, no MOT. You know? These guys should be out in areas where they're getting um, problems. Obviously, that's an area uh, where I live is a problem. And nobody's doing anything about it. It's the exact same scenario here. And nothing's, nothing's been done about it. I mean, nobody's saying young people can't have cars. Nobody's saying young people can, can't modify their cars as long as it's legal. But what we are saying is you're not allowed to fire down the streets at 50, 60, 70 mile an hour. And not doing our children. That's that's not allowed, mate. Right? And I don't apologise for saying that. So, hopefully these two characters, uh, I'll be following this case, hopefully hopefully these two characters uh, get time and, and banned for 10 years. Okay, folks, um, Remember, uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the content, share and subscribe. Peace out.